What's up everyone, Tom here, and at this point it can be considered pretty much common knowledge that you can smooth out the layer lines of 3D printed parts made from ABS, hips and the likes with an acetone vapor bath. But I was told that this should also work on some types of PLA like the ones from Dust Filament. I was intrigued because the common understanding is that uh, PLA shouldn't be affected by acetone at all. But, I mean, I've got plenty of 3D printed parts laying around, so why not just try it out? So acetone is actually pretty cheap to get hold of. This one liter bottle cost me just 2.99 euros, and I use it liberally for things like cleaning, paint stripping, and anything that's similar to that. Now, as a first step, just to try and see if acetone had any effect on PLA at all, I decided just to dunk a piece in the acetone liquid. And after leaving it in there for a few seconds, it started to get really sticky and gooey on the surface, and you could feel that layer coming off when you were rubbing it with your fingers. Parts that are dunked in acetone acetone like this for an extended amount of time do get smoothed out but they do lose a lot of their stiffness and I also think they lose a lot of their strength so that's not really recommended. But it got me thinking, before we even get into the acetone vapor smoothing part I wanted to try out if we could actually solvent weld two parts of PLA together. Essentially the way you do that with ABS or PLA in this case is you take both sides, brush some acetone on it, let it dissolve just the surface and then press those two parts together. It should get tacky and sticky right away, but it takes a few minutes or hours, depending on how much acetone you put on there and how big a surface is, to reach its full final strength. So I tried exactly that with two clean surfaces of PLA, pressed them together, and while it was clear that they were immediately sticking together, I just set them aside for now. Now for the vapor smoothing, I'm going to use the tissues in a bucket method. This is not a method I came up with, I picked this up from someone else. And essentially what you do to get a very thick and consistent acetone vapor is you take a few pieces of tissue paper, use magnets to snap them to the inside of an old paint bucket, and then soak those tissues with acetone. If you want, you can use some heat to speed up the acetone evaporization but in general that's not really needed if you give the bottle a good shake beforehand and turn it around a bit. Since whatever part you dunk into the vapor bath is going to have a dissolved and ideally a liquid surface to it, you need some sort of carrier to lift it out once your smoothing process is done. So I decided just to use this angle bracket, put the benchy on there, dunked it in and pulled it out after about 30 seconds or so. And at that point it was clear that the acetone was doing something. The part felt soft and squeaky on the surface, but there wasn't really any noticeable smoothing going on. The one thing I did notice was that the surface was getting a bit dull, but that was about it. So I gave the bucket a good heat up again, refilled some acetone and set the timer to five minutes, put the benchy back into the bucket and waited it out. After five minutes, it was obvious that the effects were a bit stronger than with the shorter test, but other than a softer and even less glossy surface, there wasn't really any smoothing going on yet. So I decided to dunk this part in and just leave it for about an hour. Now while that is soaking in, let's check back on the acetone welded PLA parts and see if we can separate them. And by the feels of it, these have really bonded well. Even hammering a screwdriver between the two parts didn't separate them. The screwdriver did deform the parts, but they didn't come apart. So in this case, I'd say these are very properly welded together. There was no extra adhesive use, there was no super glue epoxy or anything else involved. It was just too natural non-sanded even PLA surfaces. Now let's check back on the Vapor Smooth Zoid Buddha. This print has been in the acetone vapor for a good hour or more and still it doesn't look like the acetone vapor really did smooth anything out. Yes the part is slowly becoming softer and more squishy but there's not a lot of melting and smoothing going on. So I guess if you'd really submerse your parts in actual liquid acetone and then smear it around with your fingers that could work. But acetone vapor smoothing for PLA is pretty much busted at this point. And just to cross check if the acetone bucket was even working at all, I took a part printed from regular ABS, dunked it in there for 20 seconds, pulled it out and boom, perfectly smooth. I mean just look at that, isn't that an attractive look? For the most part the trick with vapor smoothing ABS is not to leave the parts in there for too long and just let them soak, but to give it quick dunks in a highly concentrated acetone vapor. That way you only dissolve the surface and don't get the entire part mushy. 
But that in detail is a topic for another video. This video is sponsored by Aleph Optics Inc, a free software, Libre innovation and open source hardware company headquartered in Loveland, Colorado, USA and makers of Lootspot desktop 3D printers. Watch my reviews of both Lootspot 3D printers here and check the links in the video description for more info on these machines straight from Aleph Objects. So, okay, while well, acetone doesn't really do much for PLA when it comes to vapor smoothing, other than maybe making the surface a bit reflective, it does work perfectly for welding two PLA parts together, which I didn't expect, honestly. So I hope you learned something today as well. If you did, leave this video a like, subscribe, and maybe even consider supporting this channel with a monthly pledge over on Patreon. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.